Hi guys, so myself and Lauren are here again with Nelly just to show you how to pop on a rug and how to make sure that the rug is comfortably fitting for your horse and that they're not caught in any way, shape or form. So this is how I like to fold my rug. Uh, I fold it like this because I like to have things really neat and tidy. But uh, so yeah, I suppose we'll just get straight into it. So when I put on a rug, I like to just fold it in half just to make it a little bit easier. And I know that a lot of people will just swing a rug up onto a horse, but I feel that for a young horse or for a horse that might be a little bit scared, that we can just do it really slowly and make sure that they don't get a fright when we do it. So I just take it apart here like this. And I like to just place it onto their back and sit it nicely. And then I like to take this part, which is the front of the rug, and just bring it up. I always prefer to have the rug up too high and to pull it back as opposed to having it and having to pull it up because the horse's hairs can get disturbed underneath the rug and it's just not very comfortable for them. So I always like to make sure that I can just pull it back like this so it goes with the direction of the hair. So then I like to start always with just tying the front of it because I feel like if the horse was to go and move forward or if they were to escape or if they were to get loose that you'd be you'd know that the rope was secured in the front because if I tied the underneath parts here first the rug would start to slide down the horse's bum and the sarsen gills underneath here would get caught underneath the horse so it would be a very dangerous situation and Nelly is quite good so we'll just tie the front here and make sure that she's got enough room that it fits her nice and snugly. So I suppose we can just have a quick look at the crossover sarsen gills. So this is really important that it's done right because you have to make sure that you perform a cross in the center so they go to opposite sides. So you can carefully lean under the horse and we can clip this sarsen gill in across the opposite and just cross it in like that. And then we go under again and we get the second one and we can bring the second one in to do the same thing. So what you want to make sure is that there's the correct amount of tension and that it's not too loose. Because if it is too loose, the horse can get their back legs caught in the sarsen gills as they're rolling in the field, which is quite dangerous. So we want to make sure that they're not hanging down, that they're nice and secure, but that the horse is comfortable. Okay, so we can look at the final part of rugging a horse, which is the leg straps. And this is still really, really important because a lot of people can do this wrong because they don't know that you have to cross the leg straps as well as the underneath sarsen gills. So I like to start with them tied up like this because I just feel like it's safer if you have a horse that might be slightly flighty or if there's a horse that's just kind of young and getting used to being rugged and things like that. So what we can do is we can just unclip these guys and we give the horse a nice rub on its leg just so that it knows that we're coming and they know that we're here and that we're not gonna do anything scary. So we just give them a rub on the inside and bring through the strap and just clip it up to the underneath part. Okay, so now that we have this one done, we move over to the slightly harder one that you have to cross. So with this one, you just unclip it here. And again, rub their leg to make sure they know that you're coming. And you can just begin to cross it over. So you pull this one out and just pop it in behind and tie as normal. Like this. So you can see, if I lift her tail back and the flap, you can see the way that it's crossed so that it's not actually pulling or rubbing on the inside of their sensitive skin on the inside of their legs. So that it's just suspended in the middle and they're perfect on her. Good girl. So this is the Horace Avalanche rugs. It's 150 grams and it's one of our mid-season rugs. And we have this rug for the seasons coming into autumn and coming into spring. For when it's just a little bit too hot 
for a you know for a really big warm rug but it's just a, still a little bit chilly for a kind of light rug that you'd use in the summer months so this one is perfect for those seasons.